All right, all right, all right, Virgo. What is the word, Joe? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. I might be late, but I'm always great, baby. I'm here to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for September 2020. Show me the money energy. I hope you guys have been having a fabulous time throughout 2020. I know 2020 is. <laughs> Been trying to shake, rattle, and roll us up. But a lot of us been been hella blessed this year. So shout out to all of you guys that's been taking all of the changes in stride and letting everything ride off your back like water off a duck's back. Anything that, look, <laughs> it's not good for you. You letting it slide right off your back like it's water, honey. And you were the beautifulest duck in the pond. So listen, um, thank you to everyone who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing. Shout out to my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who's clicked this video. If anyone wants to book a personal or private reading with me, only thing you got to do is check out the description in this video or click the About tab on my YouTube page, all right? It gives you the pricing list. I do video readings only, so um, you can connect with me on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, we can connect on Google Hangout. The only information that we need to exchange is our email. And mine's is scorpionreds at gmail.com, which is real easy. So if you have any questions or concern about how to book, um, you know, just reach out to me. I have my email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Or like I said, uh, send me a message on Messenger. We'll be good to go. Okay. Shout out to everyone who's been sending love, um, sending all these beautiful decks sending um donations to the page love offers and stuff i don't care if it's a dollar two three four five or fifty honey i appreciate every single thing that you guys send it helps me keep the lights on keep the wi-fi on keep new decks and new love flowing through here so i appreciate all the support that you guys send me and again if you guys want to support us send some love or if you want to like share and subscribe you can do so just check my page out all right so as you know virgo we're going to find out the word here um and we're going to um say some prayer over this energy you know we always got to give god thanks so let's bow our head real quick father god father god father god thank you so much for just bringing us here today thank you so much for helping us show up and show out in every single way in every single day father god we've been making the best out of every single element that you have presented before us a lot of us has really not even stopped our stride throughout this whole pandemic a lot of us have been steady steadily working we we haven't missed a beat you know what i'm saying while the whole world has been going crazy like we've been focused you know being grounded you know what i'm saying and everything that we're doing Anyway, so Father God, I just appreciate you for just, you know, all of the networking that is being placed before us and just keeping us, um, you know, steady and, and, and sturdy in our foundation and growth. Please give us guidance here for the sign of Virgo for September 2020. Show me the money energy. Give us guidance and give us clarity for anything that we wanted to know, anything that you needed to show us, Father God. Thank you again for your patience and just helping us find our way, Father God. Thank you again for all the blessings that you've placed before us and all of the past, present, and future um, offerings that you've uh, given to us. In Jesus' name, amen. So listen, we're going to get into this, you guys. If you would like to, go ahead and place a time stamp uh, so that if people want to skip past me doing the shuffling and laying, laying the cards down, they can go ahead and skip past that. But I would advise you, sometimes I get a channel and sometimes I don't. So, you know, sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. Look, I'm enjoying got nuts and mounds don't, honey. You got to know what you want, honey. Listen, you got to know what you want. Girl. You got to know what you want. Okay? So, Virgo, listen. I'm laying all of the cards face down. And we're going to get into it. So, we're going to do a quick, um, as above, so below here. Spread with the... Which is wisdom deck. I find when I use this deck, especially when I want to find out um, and get some clarity about what's going on around me, this deck is so accurate. And especially if there's anything going on where it's like you're being guided to protect yourself or um, to like cleanse your space, to open up doors for new blessings like this this deck always gives me a major clarity especially about like fertilization and birth and you know what type of season your life is in so yeah let's see let's see what's in here
they just said it's like it's like okay you are very focused on what you want to do and you just waiting for the right thing to grab hold of you that's what they just said um it's something about you guys being very grounded in the energy it's like what i want it's like i'm not going to search for it it's going to grab hold of me in the right time you know what i'm saying it's like the more and more you chase after what you want the more it's going to be repelled from you it's just like you gotta let you just gotta be grounded and focused on what you want and who you know you are and just know that it's coming to you it's like i'm not going to chase it you know what i'm saying um it's going to come to me it's going to come and snatch you and it's going to come and grab you up at the nick of time and i feel like you really know that and i just feel like a very calm level of patience with you like it's about to come snatch you up i'm not about to be running and chasing my house they just, it's like I have to have a steady set of standards. A steady set of standards. Like I can't be, it's like any other day I will be grounded and I will be patient and I would nurture the situation the right way just because this is something that I want really, really bad. I can't just get out of my element and just, you know what I'm saying? No, I know what I need to be. I need to be patient. I need to be grounded. It's going to come and snatch me. It's going to get me. If it's meant for me, it's, it's, it's not going to miss me. So y'all stay grounded in that. It's meant for you. It's meant for you. Can't nobody take that from you. All right, one more shot. And I do have my Gypsy Oracle decks out today. Um, The other signs I didn't get these decks. Like the, the tail end signs I've been doing at the end. Y'all have been getting these decks. And let me try to tell you when I'm... Whew, honey, y'all been getting to the T-yee-yee. -yee, yee -yee -yee, honey. It's been very interesting. Oh. So let's see what we got here, honey. Now, why Virgo? Let's see what we got. Virgo. Last two clarifiers. Virgo, September. Ooh, I just heard something. If you want me. Okay. <laughs> if you want me. Yes, ma'am. What you mean, if you want me? If you want me what? Come on, Virgo. What you mean? Okay, I guess you want to know if you want me. Okay. Let's go come and get you, boo, for you. Virgo just said, I shall have my heart very much so well desires. Come on, Virgo. What is the word? Y'all talking big shit in my head. Tell me what you really want. Make it nasty shit. Hello? Look, make it good then. Hello? All right, y'all. Go ahead and put that time stamp in. Let's get into this here. So let's see what the general energy is. What do you mean, honey? Oh, listen. Cake, 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 cake. And it's not even my birthday. Ooh, I know you like it. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm going to make you my bitch. Cake, cake, cake. Listen, don't that dog look high as a fucking cooter brown in the words of Kai, okay? All right? That dog look high as... Look at him. Look at him. Y'all y'all telling me he ain't had no good... <laughs> This nigga was smoking some strawberry gelato, okay? This nigga gave some diesel, okay? <laughs> he said, fuck that regular OG. Give me that special, okay? Give me that extra, extra real on the bottom. I'm trying to be high as giraffe pussy on my birthday, bitch. Come on, goddamn. Listen, and it's not even my birthday. Listen, I don't know if you guys are just feeling high and satisfied off of life. And like I always say, that is the dumbest fucking saying I've ever heard in my life. Oh, so you want your cake and eat it too? Bitch, what the fuck was the point of me getting the fucking cake if I wasn't going to eat it? What, I'm just supposed to sit here and look at it? Bitch, ain't I high as a motherfucker? You don't think I got the munchies, bitch? What the fuck you think I came here for? I came here to party like it's my birthday, bitch. Okay? Look, y'all done had some edibles. Y'all is feeling really relaxed. I swear for And listen, it is... It is... <laughs> I feel like you guys are just high on life and you guys are just really sitting back in a very calm, peaceful, tranquil state. I really do. I don't know if you guys are like smoking again. 
doing edibles, just whatever it is to just calm and relax your life. Like you living every day like it's your birthday because it damn sure is not your birthday. But you, it's like, it's not even my birthday, but I'm so, so I cannot with this dog. Y'all look at him. Look at him. Look at you. Look at you. And look at you. You high as a motherfucker. Pass the dutchy through the left hand side. Hey, pass the dutchy through the left. Okay, pass it to me. Shit, if you gonna smoke, let me smoke with you. What is this? This is the eight of cups in the reverse. So the eight of cups in the reverse means like... Oh, they just said, I've been going for a minute. Now I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the club. K-Sun jump off. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I've been gone for a minute. Now I'm back with the jump off. The goons is in the club case something jump off. Listen, because y'all already know in my Virgo readings, y'all family is deep. Y'all family holds y'all down. Y'all family don't play around. If anybody is fucking with the Virgo, your sisters, your cousins, fuck that, your mima, your mother, okay, your stepmother, like your whole family is down to ride. Y'all already know how the Virgos on my, I don't know about nobody else's page, but my page, y'all family be riding for y'all like y'all got a gang bitch i don't know like y'all you got a whole gang behind you virgo shout out to the squad nigga what the fuck y'all about to go on back home i feel like you guys been away from like your homeland for a minute you guys may be going back for somebody's birthday and you may be partying like it's your birthday I, and again y'all y'all know in the previous virgo readings that i've done like last year y'all were going through something where you were being controlled by element, you know, like, and you had to, like, really remove yourself from that. You had, look, that number eight, that eight of cups. It was something that you had to come to terms within your life and become emotionally aware, aware that this isn't satisfying to me. I'm feeling controlled. I feel drained. You know what I'm saying? Like, you all, when you walked away from that eight of cups, it wasn't nothing in the cups because you didn't have nothing to give. Like this person has sucked you dry and, and left you brittle, <laughs> like brittle bones. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you were, you were scared that you would have broken. Like this person would have really broken you. You might look at this person. You see how this person is like submerged in their emotions. They're hiding. Like you went through a lot, Virgo. You know? Now you've, you're not in no place of hiding no more. I mean, you guys, I feel like you've, wiped, I mean, wipe me down. Like, you have been wiped down, sage down, cleansed clean. You are being in a place now where you are allowed to celebrate and fill those cups back up. I feel like the love from your family, the love and the work from your friends, the love and the work from your work environments and your work relationships it just makes you feel so good and it really shows how important it is to not surround yourself around toxic people that fucking emotionally drain you when you feel like you don't have nothing you are so blessed and loved and i feel like ever since you walked away from that you have regained so much of your energy. You were so calm, peaceful, tranquil. You don't, because I want to say, like, whoever you were around had you on edge, like, um, like an abuse trauma victim or something. Like, anytime someone move quick, you jumping and shit, like, you scared someone going to hit you. Like, I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, really, really, really don't like that, you guys. But you guys are being called to celebrate. Like, you have come back to who you originally were from being so far away from that distant land like i feel you feel self-fulfilled so you are allowed to celebrate i feel like you feel refreshed and renewed like everything is great i feel like everything is great what is this respect okay what does this say respect yeah respect um the pinnacles is in the reverse so um and i i'm gonna say in regards to like religious type of things like that or like real deeply spiritual things like you might be like just just like even looking at this card you're like man i don't even know what the fuck that star is about i don't know if that's some devil i don't know if that's good or bad i don't know like it's like i feel like you removed yourself from people di that didn't respect your creed you know how people say respect the creed respect the creed um it's like respect the foundation respect the laws respect the responsibility that comes with this title you know what i'm saying what holds in this pinnacle with this uh, 
it's like a um I, I want, why i want to say a brooch it's not a brooch but you know like how someone gives you like a pinnacle like a um like a button or something that you put right here that shows like your ranking or something like that and um it, it's like you removed yourself from people that don't have that respect for you that don't respect the creed that don't respect your foundation that doesn't respect your list of rules that people need to abide by to, to deal with you you know what i'm saying and i don't even think that you ask for much but you go and respect me you know what i'm saying like that's it's not negotiable you know what i'm saying so it's like people that kind of want to live outside or want to teeter among the border of this this <laughs> line in this barrier of respect for you they get getting cut out and it's like I'm, I'm moving back home you know what i'm saying so you might have moved back home virgo um and released yourself from people that are not paying into your that, that are not investing into you even with the pinnacles i could look at that as the ace of pinnacles like they're not investing anything in you where you feel like they deserve to be around you. You ain't giving me shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't respect me. If you respect me, you would pay me my work. If you don't, if you don't pay me my work, then get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going back home. Fuck out of here. I'm about to go party with my friends and shit. I ain't even worried about you. You see what I'm saying? So, like, y'all are removing yourself from this. This is the four cups in the reverse. So, the four cups in the reverse is like, you are well aware. You're not drunk no more. You guys could have just came out of a sober house or sober living or something like that. And I'm saying sober living in regards to, like, you guys are not drunk in love. You're not being... Um, um, over indulgent in things that are not meant for you you're not being influenced by the wrong thing and number one you're rejecting anything that is rejecting you i don't even fucking want that shit bye listen power i done took my power i done put a new fucking hat on listen all right i got a new role i got a new stroll i got a new goal you know what i'm saying you got a new stroll like the way you swing your hips okay <laughs> the way you swing your, your hips when you do that walk baby you got a new stroll you got a new goal okay listen I'm awake now. I'm feeling better. Than, I, re, I feel like someone is feeling better. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's either like... Because I feel like you was high up there. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like you kind of needed to... Like you needed something. I feel like you were kind of high strung. Like whatever you were... Whatever you were moving away from, you know what I'm saying? And you had to go back home. I felt like you kind of needed to go home and go smoke a J with your friends and just relax and just be around family a little bit. Like, I really do feel like you needed that. Like, but now that you did that, um, you realized that you need to be around people that respect you. And that are uh, investing in you the way that you invested in them. You're sober now. You know, took your power back. Bottom line. Bottom line, the hierophant. So the hierophant again means like high level teaching. It means like someone getting some advice from like um a clergyman, like a priest or uh, a priest, or a pastor, um, like um a school uh professor, like um the matriarch or the patriarch of your family or somebody, somebody that you really look up to that has a lot of advice and you're learning something. Um maybe you didn't have a I felt like you were really teetering on the boundaries of respect in regards to where you came from because it, it I mean it, it could have been a non-traditional relationship or a non-traditional way of living like you could have been in an open relationship that just like completely disrespected the boundaries of relationship and love you understand and that's not where you come from you may come from a very religious family and your family didn't understand you know like even this could be someone that was around People that you were drunk and high all the time, you were partying, you were not living the lifestyle of which you were accustomed to how your parents raised you. Now you move back home, you realize you weren't really respecting yourself, you took your power back, you know what I'm saying, you just came out of sober living, now you getting, 
instructions from the higher fan. Like, you, you moving towards a better way. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could have been going through a phase where you was just high as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And you was just doing anything or just letting anything go on at some point in time. This is the Ten of Wands. So, the Ten of Wands is like, yeah, you done definitely been around the world and back. And had a couple of different phases and a couple of different instances in your life that kind of made you wake up. And want to take this information and take this advice from the higher fan. Because it's like... I want to say that you might have went the wrong way where it was like very hard for you to kind of bounce back a little bit. And it's like the Hierophant is like, it's cool because you think I didn't go through my share of struggles and my share of battles. L listen, I had the devil on my back too. You know what I'm saying? But God didn't give up on me and I'm not giving up with you. Don't give up. It's like, we going to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, we going to try... All these different methods or whatever. One of them is going to stick. But trust in me. And have faith. It's like you're learning how to really have faith. And not be opposed to um, skinning your knees a little bit. To learn something. Because um, I feel like what the Hierophant is trying to tell you is like. I did not have it easy. Like a man of wise counsel. We don't just wake up with being smart. We don't just wake up. No, you know what I'm saying? Like we had to go through life and go through life experiences to eat, to be able to have a testimony. That doesn't mean to give up. You understand what I'm saying? Because God would not have let you here. You know what I'm saying? I went through my phase where I was drunk and I was high. I had to come back home and start all over again. I didn't have no respect for my, my spiritual path, my religion, just how I was brought up. Like I didn't get it. But I had to take my power back and I had to sober up and now I'm here. The 10, that chapter is over. I'm in the right place now. I'm getting the right energy that I need for me to go a better way and live on the right path. Amen. You understand? So like that's basically it. What is this? Invocation ritual. So again, like I don't know if you guys have been indoctrinated into like a church or something. Um, You are with the group where people understand you they understand your belief system and stuff like that shit it may be a ritual for like our group we work hard we study hard we go and have a good time but at the same time like we are still dedicated to our path we're dedicated to our growth like we lean on each other we you know what i'm saying like this might be a ritual like and it might be just like a ritual of y'all just going to church together. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just some type of spiritual group or something. Like y'all go to church, but then y'all party too. Like, I mean, I'm being honest. Like, I feel like this is a group of people that, and maybe three or four friends that might be your homies or someone that you grew up with. And it's like, I want to say y'all are trying to create a ritual of change and like being more awoke. Like, because the four cups in the reverse is someone that's awoke, that's not high, that's not drugged out, you know what I'm saying, It's not confused, that, you know what I'm saying, if someone comes and offers you something, you know what you want, you're not sitting there stagnant like, I don't know if I want to accept it or reject it, nah, no, give it to me, you know what I'm saying, I deserve that shit, you know, so you guys could have been practicing with a group like, Y'all uplift yourself. Y'all get information from high counsel. And y'all really mean each other well. Y'all could have all come from a place where y'all were not respecting each other. And maybe y'all push religion or your, you know what I'm saying, your upbringing to the side. You know what I'm saying? And y'all were out there living life and y'all were going through various struggles and stuff like that. But it's like y'all faith kind of brought y'all back together or something like that. That's what I'm getting. What is this? This is the lovers. So, again, I mean, this could be, like, a group of women that I feel like, I feel like this is a group of women that collectively together, like, y'all could have been brought together because y'all spouses could have cheated on you. And y'all are really just trying to work on each other. Like, when you see one is up and the other one is down, the other three of y'all, y'all come and y'all hoover over that person and you give them love and you show them how to love their self and you help them remember their faith and be like that was the past you know what i'm saying like everybody is not 
it's not going to be a repeated cycle of this because we're going to love each other and we're going to show the universe what we want in our life and the universe is like we can't it's like y'all y'all not going to let each other because i feel like it's hard like you guys might have all came from like a rough patch i feel like this is a support group and y'all are learning how to indoctrinate your faith into your life into your spirit you know what i'm saying so that you can call and change it's, it's it's about your faith young it's about your faith and respecting each other and respecting yourself and it's like anytime you see one of us sinking down we gonna pull you back up because you don't deserve to be there you know what i'm saying don't chase your past chase your future your past did not make you or create you it's just one page in your chapter and it's time to move on and we're going to be here to support you you know what i'm saying we're going to show you true love by us loving each other and you needing to get past these memories and these thoughts because that's not what love is and that's why i feel like y'all been going to church like y'all been listening to this word from spirit from god it's like god is like baby you went through that to get here because you needed to be awoke. You need to put this hat on and take a different role in life. Not be so accepting to people hurting you, people walking all over you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you were being indoctrinated into uh, I'm what, high priestess ship. I don't know if that's even a word, but like divine feminine, divine masculine. Because I know y'all know that word. Like, really being a high level adult in spirit in regards to this world and love you know so the lover's card you got this six of clubs it says the lightning the lightning denotes surprise disagreements according to the distance so this is surprising you know the six of clubs represents a change of to me this means like a change of jobs like a change of business you know like you're moving on to something better um you know I, I did my time here you know what I'm saying so you can say it's not you can say this is what I'm going to say you could have did your time you know what I'm saying you could have paid your dues and live in a low vibrational life where you didn't respect yourself you were dealing with people that didn't know your worth you didn't know your worth and they were dishonoring you and you were dishonoring yourself by even allowing them in your presence that's why this group right here it is a ritual of self-belief self-love high level abundance and fucking faith and that's why you're changing the way that you operate you understand you're changing your job your structure the where you work at how you spend your time you understand it's a ritual now it may be shocking to a lot of people, but you had to grow up at some point in time. Bottom line. Bottom line. Like, I'm dedicated to my faith. I'm dedicated to people that are like-minded, that believe like me. I'm not trying to sit around and be high all the motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. We smoke a little bit of weed or whatever. But, like, listen. You know what I'm saying? We got to be woke out here. We can't be around this motherfucker high all the motherfucking time. Shit. You understand? What is this? This is the present in the reverse. And this is what the Nine of Pentacles. So, I mean, not the Nine of Pentacles, but the Nine of Clubs. So, you may be rejecting gifts. You may be rejecting something that you feel like. I don't. They just told me it felt like it's stolen energy. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like. You may have told someone, hey, this was fun and everything. I like chilling with you. And, you know. Things worked out like the first four or five years that, you know, we did this collaboration. But honestly, last two years, I haven't really been happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're stealing. I don't want to say like this is someone that's stealing, stealing your work ideas and carrying it over to someone else. Giving it because the nine of the nine of um, the nine of clubs to me can be. It's like when you get successive recognition for hard work and everything like that. To me, I feel like that's someone taking that away. It's like giving your success and your recognition and all your hard working. They're like they're they're taking your ideas and they're going to do that shit with someone else, acting like it's their own. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like you see, it's like you're catching this person 
taking the energy that they should be giving to you and giving it to someone else. You understand? Like the lovers. So you might have just completely just upped and changed and like you have this group of people that is helping you remember to dedicate yourself to your faith and self-worth. God is watching everything and he will give you the keys to yourself. You see, you and your friend down there listen to the Pope or listen to the, the preacher or whoever. He is giving you the key and he's going to lead you in the right direction. Do you understand what I'm saying? Have hope and have faith. Okay, don't be high tripping and shit like that. Go have have fun with your friends and shit, but bitch be woke. You understand what I'm saying? Because people be trying to steal from you and carry and and, and, and and no, you understand? Absolutely not. I don't want any stolen energy. You understand what I'm saying? So if you would steal from me, you would steal from others and bring it to me. And I don't want it. You understand? I don't want it. Listen, what is this saying? Cheerfulness. Cheerfulness. So again, like so. You are focused on your cheerfulness. I feel like you're focused on your self-love group. I want to say that this is a self-love group. You understand? And it's like... The whole purpose is, is love. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want no stolen energy. You know what I'm saying? If someone isn't loving you in the way that is committed, that is dedicated... Sometimes you got to shake things up, bitch. You got to shake the table. And you got to tell them, listen... Shit ain't working out for me. I got a new offer somewhere else. You understand? No, don't come to me and offer me no gifts on the back end. I'm not interested. I got something else better. Like, you got to have faith. And even if, look, something, you know what this is saying? Even if you do not have another job to go to, as long as you good with the company that, that you keep, that that's a, this, this, this here. It's going, to, it's going to lead you to where you need to be and where you need to go. You just have to have faith and be happy. Sometimes don't walk away and be sad. Fuck. This person did something wrong to you. Take your power. Wake up and just continue to move in faith and move on. And God ain't never said it was going to be easy. But keep moving. You won't get to it. You won't get to where you're supposed to go. What is this? The four swords in the reverse. Listen, I done took my stuff. Listen, you... Went through a phase in your life where you might have really been hurting and you might have went into like some deep seclusion where you walled the world out. And I feel like through that point in your life where you were by yourself, that's where you found this group. You know what I'm saying? You found this group, this self-help group, and it's been teaching you how to love yourself. And you're like, I don't have to keep myself in the house no more. I'm full. I feel full. I feel smart. Like It's like you feel upgraded like excuse me you were upgraded like you you know like how you upgrade your your equipment you know like i just had to upgrade my apple i watch my my all apple all apple shit just got upgraded so you just got the upgrade you understand so it's like you don't have to feel like you don't have what you need or the information that you need to feel abundant and feel prosperous and shit like that yes you do you understand? I feel like you just needed to go back home and be in a state of existence with people that are like-minded and grounded just like you. You needed to get back to your faith. You needed to get back to your element. You needed to go the fuck back home. You understand what I'm saying? Because I want to say, I want to say you were too high on the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Because you were high on somebody that was mad because you wanted your cake and eat it too. When you go home, you know you're going to get your cake. That was whole part of the celebration. You understand? So it's like now you high off of love, you high off of life. You understand what I'm saying? Because now you finally getting to get your cake. And it's like, I been knew that. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't even know why I was... They said, I don't even know why I was looking for the love anywhere else but from... My home, I feel like it has something to do with your home. It has something to do with your home and your upbringing and your standards of life, and the way you were taught. Cycles, and then you got the six of, and you got the six of um, pentacles. So this is like you could have been going through some negative cycles with someone that you regret giving to. This is someone that. Have you ever heard someone say, "Don't feed the birds, don't feed the birds," because you'll give. Uh, a group of birds, some pigeons, a little bit of breadcrumbs, and they'll follow you all over the goddamn park. Like, like I have seen the birds attack someone, and it's like, man, I just gave you some bread. I didn't have to give you nothing. The majority of these people in this park don't give you nothing, and like, I'm just like, I don't have no more food to give you. Why are you chasing me? Why are you bothering me? Why, why, why y'all attacking me now? So it's like you could have gone through something where you. I feel like 
reverse a negative cycle. It's like you took yourself away from it and you realized your self-worth. Listen, you see how it got... You see how the bird is laying there dead and it's a picture of... You see, it's like a memory or something. And it's like deceased. It's like a deceased memory or something. I want to say... You let it, you put it to rest. I feel like you buried it, you put it to rest, and you finally are ready to start a new cycle in your life. No more of this negative shit. And you know, with this, with this, 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 this is female energy here. So I don't know if you guys cut out a female energy. It's like you really looking for commitment in marriage, someone that wants what you want. And you dedicate it with circulating positive energy around your life. You're no longer giving to nobody that's going to take from you and give. Like, I don't have time for that shit. What is this? The Ten of Cups. You see how this person gave that man that good, good, gave, gave this person all of his love, knocked his ass right out the goddamn bed. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, when you get around the right person that's really, really meant for you, you didn't even realize your love was that good. You didn't realize... That your love was that motherfucking good. You done knocked the motherfucker right out the bed. You were giving to someone that made you feel like everything you did was not good enough. It wasn't good. It wasn't good enough. It was never good enough. It was never enough. It was always more, more, more. But they ain't give you shit. They ain't give you a motherfucker thing. That's why you said no, ma'am. Uh-uh. Even when this person could have came on their cycle, their period or something, they could have been a complete fucking bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Where it's like, goddamn, I just want to fucking run away and go fucking die somewhere. I'd rather die than be around this motherfucker. And you like, nah, fuck this shit. I don't want to fucking die. I just want this person to be dead out of my goddamn energy. Get the fuck on somewhere. I'm ready to party with my friends. And it's like, now that you don't finally been around someone that is really connected with you and that energy, you just like, damn, that other person made me feel so low, made me feel like I was never, ever, ever, ever a mountain to what they needed in their life. I was never good enough. And this motherfucker. I'm just giving them a little bit shit. I done gave them a little bit. And they just. I done knocked this motherfucker off their feet. It's like I wish I would have been. I would have been woke. I would have been went back home. I would have been resurfaced around this group of people that know who I am. They know what I need. They know what I want. They ain't trying to change me. They ain't trying to control me. They ain't trying to take advantage of me, man. This motherfucker is like, I, it just makes me feel like I'm everything. Listen, the flame. This is the seven of diamonds. The seven of diamonds is the money card. You understand? So this is, could be like a big ticket purchase or something like that. Um, you could have just bought a new house, a new car. Um, you could have just got like a big pay increase or a big lump sum of money or something. But this is a good car. And with the flame, it says the flame on hearth indicates good fortune and neutralize the evil of near lying unlucky cards and creates the value of one's luck. Honey, you on fucking fire. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I told you, it's like I wish that I would have went back home, would have got a dose of love, realized my worth, and would have did this shit a long time ago because, bitch, I'm on fucking fire. It's like I don't know if every person that you get with now make you feel like you that shit. <laughs> but it's like I'm on fucking fire. Like I can't do that. What is this? Some money. Didn't I tell you about the coming to some shit? Didn't I tell you? I told you. This is the hard work card. You understand? This is the card of... This is the card of... This is the seven of clubs. This is like... Doing what is necessary to do. It's like you could have been in a crunch. You could have been in an uncomfortable situation. But shit, you did what the fuck you needed to do to get your ass the fuck up out of there. You got two sevens. You got the seven of diamonds and the seven of motherfucking clubs. Sometimes when you do what you need to do, you get what you want. It, like I said, it it, 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 it it neutralizes that that negative shit. It gets it right the fuck on that. Look, reunion. And look at her face. Do she look like she want a reunion? No like shit. No like shit. Look at her face. She like, I think about it. I think about it. I will think about it. I don't know. I don't know. But I really do feel like you guys may re be reuniting with someone that you might have been at a distance at. Someone that might be back home or something. At a church, you may bump into someone that you know. 
from when you were in high school or something like you've been going through a struggle and it led you back to church and stuff like that to find your foundation i want to say that you went back to your foundation because you got tired of giving to people and stuff like that you went on your self journey you found your faith and you came out of hiding look you block these negative cycles i want it look 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 invocation like you i want to say that you joined a church or something like that because you were heartbroken and you took your power back and you walked away from your faith like a long time ago and it's like because of this heartbroke this heartbreak and you tapping back into your faith you found a new lover after losing the wrong one so look you woke now you got a, a brand new role brand new role and I, we stopped giving it to motherfuckers that didn't appreciate it and you may be reuniting with someone that I want to say you never even thought about this person like that shit and it's not even your birthday you finally get to have that cake <laughs> listen I'm gone y'all Virgo I hope you enjoyed this reading I love you click that like button if you want to book with me you know what to do Peace. I see you in October.